This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Vampire La Fraude Defendu. I don't know how to do French words. Anyway, look, we're ready to feel the thirst. And it's a thirst for turkey, apparently. According to that thing being held out in the bottom left of the screen. <laughs> is that supposed to be an arm? <laughs> it's just, it's thrust out rigid. It looks like a turkey leg. This weird stumpy thing. It's like, it's no wonder they've used a photograph of a fist next to it. Cause we wouldn't know other, oh, it's going through walls. Of course, of course it would. It's, it's thrust out like just straight. Like rigor mortis are set in. You'll knock everything over. <laughs> it's still there. That's really, oh no. That's the pits. Oh no. Oh, and then another abrupt end. Always the same with these bloody trailers. Description! Vampire Lefra Defendu is a game that will get you to discover the different historical backgrounds of the vampire folklore. From the Middle East Lamashtu to the Australian Yara Mawahu to the well-known Romanian Strigoi named Dracula. The different origins will be revealed through different plots taking place in Montreal, QC, Canada first, and then offering you to follow the scenarios to whatever destination it leads you. Okay, that too many commas in that sentence, it made me sight read it awkwardly. Anyway, for those not speaking French, Le Fruit de Fendu means forbidden fruit referring to Adam and Eve, their fictional relation with the birth of humanity and therefore it's full. Controversial, straight away decrying the Bible as, as fictional. I, I'm not saying I disagree, uh, but I do feel that's a very bold political statement uh, and, and obviously a theological statement to make in the description of your green light game, but fair enough. Trying to explain how human nature is weak against envy, jealousy, guilt as Cain killed Abel and got cursed for his crime, leading him wandering alone in the dark with that big eye following him forever. <laughs> <laughs> Was he strolling about Mordor? Anyway, all those stories being told over time through generations are a great way to explore beliefs, conflicts, and modern days societies. It would be a mix of fantasy with a background of history and a pinch of philosophy. Like we're Gordon fucking Ramsay. The first step for us will be to complete the Montreal level, refine the gameplay, set up an immersive introduction, etc. And when we reach a point we feel we can develop the story further, we'll focus on developing the other locations. I feel like that's one of the big problems with Greenlight is uh, it, that last paragraph where they clearly haven't made a game yet. They they want to get on Steam, but they haven't made a game yet. Uh, and I would I would suggest before you finish Montreal and before you do any other locations, fix the fucking hand. What's that? What is that? That's not a real arm. That's not a human arm, it's not a vampire arm, because a vampire arm essentially is the same as a human arm. I don't care if you're undead or not, your arm will get fucking tired if you hold it out like that, even if you don't have a normal real hand at, at the end of it. That is terrible. Fix it! That will be too distracting. It's all I can think about right now. I, can, I think about it so much that I didn't even mention the blatant copying of Bioware's dialogue wheel. That's how much that stumpy arm got in the way of everything else. Fix it, then work on Montreal, then come up with an original dialogue selection system. That'll do.